Hi again, welcome back to the digital classroom. I am going to show you a simple way you can use materials at home um, to make math, math manipulatives with today. Um, the first one I want to show is the egg crate tin frame. So at school, we use this thing called a tin frame. It's five squares on the top, five squares on the bottom. It has ten spaces in it. Um, we use it for counting, combinations, and addition, subtraction. You can talk about how many it's three how many white spaces with no dots would be seven so you can actually make you can make number sentences for addition and subtraction um, to go along with your tin frame count the count the spaces with dots count the white spaces um, a very simple way to make a tin frame is to take an egg crate or an old egg carton that you are no longer needing for anything else. You cut the top off. You cut this closure part off and you're left with 12 holes well it's not a 12 frame it's a 10 frame so we're actually going to cut off two of the holes this is this can get a little bit tricky definitely is one of these one of the things that adult help will be required if you now you have 10 spaces one two three four five on the top one two three four five on the bottom the nice thing about the egg crate tin frame is you, it, you can fill the holes with different types of math and manipulatives. Um, if you look in your manipulative kit, you will find the pennies and the two color counters that we sent home. You can, you can use pennies to fill it with. You can use two color counters to fill it with. You can use your cubes from your cube sticks to fill it with. And you can talk about the different features how many cubes do you have how many spaces do you have without cubes um, just like my equation here three three spaces are filled seven spaces are blank so three and seven makes ten You can use different colors and fill in different spaces like this. How many brown cubes do I have? One, two, three, four, five. And how many orange cubes do I have? One, two, three, four, five. How many in all? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The number sentence would look like this. Five plus five equals ten, or ten equals five plus five. If you want to represent that with a number bond, you could use five and five as parts and 10 as your whole. Well, that is it for right now. If you decide to make an egg crate 10 frame as a math tool, please have your mom or dad snap a picture of it and send it to me. I would love to see your egg crate 10 frames and how you decide to use them. Goodbye for now.